guys, today we're grilling up some chicken wings and drumsticks. We will be using Zach's Texas style barbecue sweet rub. This was sent by Grandpa's on Fire and we need to say thank you. You'll have a link to Grandpa's on Fire in the icons above and in the description box below. So let's sit back and enjoy the ride. Well guys, only two will make that three ingredients you need to get. That will be some chicken wings and drumsticks, some sort of cooking oil and your favorite barbecue rub. So boys and girls, let's go start to prep our chicken wings and legs. Well here I've got some wings and some legs which I'm going to lightly coat with some olive oil. You can use vegetable oil if you wish. I'm using the oil as a binder. This will help the seasoning to stick and also help with the crisping up of the skin. So I'm going in with my hand to make sure that all the wings and legs are properly well coated with the oil before seasoning. Now that the wings and legs are properly well coated with the oil, I'm going to lay them on a wire rack. I've gotten my wings and legs laid down on the baking wire rack. I'm going to start to apply some seasoning. The seasoning that I'm using today is a Texas style barbecue sweet rub from Zach. This was sent to me from Grumpus on Fire. I will have a link to Grumpus on Fire in the description below and also in the iCards above. Now you want to apply your favorite barbecue rub all over those chicken wings and drumsticks. Well now that you have coated the first side of the wings and legs, flip them over and repeat the process all over again. You want to make sure that everybody gets happy with that barbecue rub. Well boys and girls, please let me know in the comments which you prefer, the drumettes of the wings or the flats, or do you prefer drumsticks instead? As for me, the flats of the wings are my favorite. Oh well, I've tasted the rub straight out of the bottle already and I have to say it tastes delicious. It tastes something like a snack we have in Trinidad and Tobago called Oli, which is a tortilla chip. There is a barbecue flavored one and it tastes similar to that, so I know the wings and drumsticks will definitely be tasting delicious. So guys, all the wings and legs are all seasoned up. Let that sit for about 20 to 30 minutes. In the meantime, let's go get our grill all fired up. Well boys and girls, let's get our coals lighted. Here I'm taking a half an onion to clean down my grill grease. This trick was taught to me by Rick's over at Rick's Barbecue and Specialties. I will have a link to his channel in the iCards above and also in the description box below. Well our grates are all cleaned down. Here I am taking the half an onion and throwing it into the coals. This gives it an absolutely wonderful aroma. Now I am just going to cover down my grill and let it come up to temp. Well you can see my coals are properly well lit and my grill has come up to temp. Today I am going in with a piece of applewood chunk for a bit of smoke. Now that our applewood is down, let's go get our chicken wings and legs. And here you can see that Zach's Texas style sweet barbecue rub has sweated into those wings nicely. So boys and girls, it's about that time. It's time to get those chicken wings and legs on. I'll be placing them opposite the hot coals for some indirect cooking. Well, this should be a pretty short cook, about probably an hour to an hour and 20 minutes. Let's see how it goes. As you can see, I have not separated the drumettes from the flats. That is because I find it much easier to cook the wings whole. So boys and girls, those wings are done. Let's get on our chicken legs or drumsticks as some of us will call them. So these are the last of the drumsticks going on. We're going to put on the cover and let this run for about 20 minutes before we check our wings and our drumsticks. 
This is about 20 minutes into the cook guys. Let's take a little close to see how those wings and legs are looking. They are looking mighty fine. Oh what a beautiful color. Oh wait, we got a special feature today. It's our 9 month old pup buddy. Enjoy. Anyway guys, back to our cook. It's about 40 minutes in, so let's take a look at our wings and our drumsticks. And they're looking pretty gorgeous here. As you can see the color is looking sort of mahogany, and that's a good sign. Here I'm just moving them around to make sure I get some even cooking going on. And guys, this is about another 15 minutes into the cook and you can see our wings and drumsticks are looking absolutely gorgeous. I say it's about time to give everybody a flip here. After flipping over the wings and the drumsticks, I'm going to be taking the ones in front and moving them to the back and vice versa. Now that we have gotten those wings and those drumsticks all flipped around and moved around, I'm going to apply some of that Zach's Texas barbecue sweet rub once again. That is just for an added flavor. And you know that you're definitely kicking it up a notch here. And it's about an hour into our cook. So let's take a little bit of a close up and see what one of our wings look like. And it is looking absolutely gorgeous. And here's a bit of a close up so we can see how everyone is looking. And it's about an hour and 15 minutes into our cook. So let's check our internal temp in one of our drumsticks. It is reading at about 184 degrees Fahrenheit. So I say these wings and drumsticks are done. So let's get them off the grill. And our wings and drumsticks are done. So let's sit back and fasten our seatbelts and get ready for our drive-by. Let's go! So boys and girls, here's our delicious chicken wings and drumsticks. I've got to say, these wings and drumsticks were tasty. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Like, comment and don't forget to subscribe. And turn on the post notifications for more videos. See you all on our next cooking journey and we're out until next time.